ओके चिल्ड्रेन चैप्टर इज फोर फैक्ट्राइजेशन एच सी एफ एंड एल सी एम वी आर डूइंग एक्सरसाइज फोर ए एंड दिस इज द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज फोर ए एंड द क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग पेयर्स ऑफ नंबर आर को प्राइम्स सो पेयर्स ऑफ नंबर आर गिवन एट इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट यू हैव सिक्स एंड एट यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट आर दे को प्राइम्स आर नॉट वट इज को प्राइम को प्राइम्स आर द नंबर्स विच हैव गॉट वन एज देयर एच सी एफ सो फाइंड आउट द एच सी एफ ऑफ एट एंड सिक्स वी विल डू द डिविजन मैथड बाई दिस वी कैन फाइंड आउट द एच सी एफ ऑफ दिस दीज टू नंबर्स सिक्स वन टाइम्स इज सिक्स वी आर लेफ्ट विद टू नाउ आर डिवाइजर इज टू एंड आर डेविडेंट विल बिकम सिक्स टू थ्री टाइम्स इज सिक्स सो सिक्स इज फुली डिवाइडेड बाई टू एंड द लास्ट डिवाइजर इज सेट टू पी द एच सी एफ विच इज टू सो राइट डाउन एच सी एफ ऑफ दीज टू नंबर इज टू तो वी कैन से दैट सिक्स एंड एट आर नॉट को प्राइम्स As their HCF is two, if the HCF was one, we can say the given numbers are co-primes. But uh, in other than one, any number is uh, in the counting. If it stands for HCF, we will say that the numbers are not co-primes. Okay. Second part of this question is thirteen and sixty-four. So thirteen uh, and sixty-four. Sixty-four is a greater number. That is, will be your dividend. And thirteen is divisor. Do the long division to find out the HCF. So thirteen fours are fifty-two. Now we will sub do the subtraction. Twelve is left over. Then your first divisor becomes your dividend. Twelve one is twelve. Again, you are left with one. Do the subtraction here and here. then your second divisor becomes your dividend 1 12 times is 12 one can divide every number of the counting as i said it before so the last divisor is 1 and this divisor is your hcf means both the numbers 64 and 13 has got the hcf 1 the highest common number which can divide which is factor of both the numbers which can divide both the numbers is 1 so therefore we can say that 13 and 64 are co primes in the third part you have two numbers 21 And twenty-four are they co primes? So let's do the same procedure by the long division. Twenty-one times is twenty-one. Do the subtraction here. Four minus one is three. Two minus two is zero. So three is your next divisor, and your dividend is twenty-one. Three sevens are twenty-one. So, what is the HCF? Three. HCF of twenty-one and twenty-four is three. So, three is the greatest number which can divide twenty-four and twenty-one simultaneously. So, three is the HCF. So, you can say that twenty-one and twenty-four are Not co primes. Fourth part of this question is nine and sixteen. So sixteen is your dividend, and nine will be divisor. Nine one is nine because nine two is eighteen is greater than sixteen. So your dividend is sixteen. So nine one times is nine. You will put nine in the units place of number. So borrow 
make it 0 16 minus 9 is 7 now 7 is your divisor and 9 is your dividend 7 1 times is 7 you are left with 2 to the subtraction then 7 is your dividend 2 3 times is 6 1 is left 1 is your divisor and 2 is your dividend 1 2 times is 2 cross and the last divisor is 1 so you can say that the two numbers 9 and 16 are co primes why because their HCF is 1 1 is the greatest number which can divide the highest factor which can divide both the number exact the last part two numbers are given to you 30 and 37 so are they co primes same is the proce procedure do the division of 37 with 30 31 times is 30 you are left with 7 to the subtraction the next divisor is dividend is 30 so now you will divide 30 by 7 4s are 28 2 2 is left 7 is your dividend 2 1 2 3s are 6 1 is left now the next next uh, dividend is 2 1 2 times is 2 the hcf becomes 1 of both the numbers HCF is 1 by the division method. So you can say that 30 and 37 are co prime numbers.